we will discuss left lower abdominal pain, also known as left lower quadrant pain. The area is on the left side below the belly button. To understand the source of pain, it helps to know which organs are located here. This area contains part of the large intestine, specifically the sigmoid colon, along with a small portion of the small intestine, the left ovary, and the left kidney. The most common cause of left lower abdominal pain is diverticulitis, especially in individuals over 50. This is more likely in people with constipation and a low fiber diet. Chronic constipation puts pressure on the intestines, leading to small pouches in the large intestine. These pouches, called diverticula, can become inflamed, resulting in pain. The primary risk factors for diverticulitis include obesity, physical inactivity, low fiber diet, and constipation. Diverticulitis is particularly common in older individuals. Diverticulitis often causes sudden pain in the left lower abdomen, along with fever, chills, nausea, vomiting and changes in bowel movements, including constipation or diarrhea. Blood tests typically reveal elevated white blood cell counts, indicating inflammation and infection. This test, when the left lower abdomen is pressed, the area is painful. The gold standard for diagnosing diverticulitis is a CT scan. This imaging test can identify inflammation of the diverticula as well as any abscess formation or treatment. Uh, usually involves antibiotics and a clear liquid diet, followed by gradual reintroduction of solid foods. In severe cases, surgery may be necessary. The second most common cause is irritable bowel syndrome. This common disorder affects the large intestine and causes pain, bloating, and changes in bowel habits. Irritable bowel syndrome is a functional disorder, meaning there is no visible damage to the bowel. The exact cause is not known, but it is thought to result from gut hypersensitivity and altered communication between the bowel and the brain. Certain foods and stress can worsen symptoms. This condition is more common in young people, especially women, and affects nearly 15% of the general population. Typical symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome include abdominal pain and cramping, which are usually relieved by bowel movements. Other symptoms include bloating gas and changes in bowel movement patterns with alternating diarrhea and constipation. Some cases may be dominated by either diarrhea or constipation. Mucus in stool is also common. Irritable bowel syndrome is a chronic disorder with flare-ups and remission periods that can last for years. The hallmark of irritable bowel syndrome is recurrent abdominal pain related to bowel movements. Pain should be present at least one day a week for a minimum of three months and associated with changes in bowel habits or stool appearance. The gold standard for managing this condition is to avoid trigger foods, known as FODMAP foods, which contain fermentable carbohydrates. Avoiding caffeine, alcohol, and fatty foods is also recommended. Antispasmodics, fiber supplements, or laxatives can be used for constipation. The third most common cause of lower left abdominal pain is kidney stones. These are small mineral deposits that form in the kidneys and can travel down to the ureta, blocking urine flow and causing severe pain. The pain often affects the site, known as flank pain, but it can sometimes be felt in the left lower abdomen if the stone is in the distal part of the ureter. Dehydration is the primary risk for stone formation. A diet high in salt sugar or protein also increases the risk of stones. This condition is more common among men between the ages of 30 to 60. Once a person has a kidney stone, they always carry this risk. This pain is sudden, intense, and occurs in waves. People describe it as one of the most severe pains ever felt. The pain may radiate to the groin. Other signs include blood in the urine and frequent urinary urgency. Small stones can pass on their own in the ureter, but if a stone is larger than 5 mm, it may require intervention. Lloyd's sign is a test to determine if there is kidney pain. It refers to tenderness to percussion over the kidney, which is known as the flank area. The gold standard for diagnosis is a CT scan. The fourth most common cause of left lower abdominal pain is an ovarian cyst in females. This is a fluid filled sac inside the ovary, common in women, especially in their reproductive years. These cysts are usually harmless, but if they grow large and rupture, they cause pain. 
If twisted, a condition known as torsion occurs, ballistic ovary syndrome increases the risk of ovarian cyst. Nearly every woman experiences at least one ovarian cyst in her lifetime, but only a small portion grow large enough to cause pain. Around 5% of ovarian cysts will require surgery. If a cyst ruptures, the pain is sudden and severe. Physical activity or sexual activity can worsen the pain. The typical patient with a large cyst is a young woman who reports intermittent dull pain on her lower side abdomen. She may also notice menstrual irregularities such as heavy menstruation. Ultrasound is the preferred diagnostic tool. Rebound tenderness may be present if a cyst is ruptured, indicating peritoneal irritation. Most cysts require only monitoring, but if a cyst is large, surgery may be performed. The fifth potential cause is left-sided colitis, a form of inflammatory bowel disease. This condition involves inflammation of the intestines, particularly the large intestine and is commonly characterized by diarrhea and blood in the stool. The exact cause is unknown, but it likely involves autoimmune reactions where the immune system attacks and damages the lining of the large intestine. This condition is more common in younger people, up to the age of 35. Smoking is an important risk factor, though it can also occur in non-smokers. Approximately 30% of cases of ulcerative colitis cause left-sided. Symptoms generally have a gradual onset and may worsen over time. A hallmark sign is bloody diarrhea. Other symptoms include urgency to defecate and a feeling of incomplete evacuation. The main complication of ulcerative colitis is toxic megacolon in which the large intestine becomes extremely swollen, a life-threatening condition. Long-standing colitis also increases the risk of colon cancer. This is the gold standard for diagnosing colonic ulceration is a colonoscopy with biopsy. Blood samples may also show elevated C-reactive protein and ESR levels. The sixth most common cause of left lower abdominal pain is ectopic pregnancy in females. Although rare it is possible, especially in young women with a history of pelvic inflammatory disease or previous ectopic pregnancies. A missed menstrual period, sharp lower left quadrant pain and vaginal bleeding are symptoms that may indicate an ectopic pregnancy. Sometimes the pain radiates to the shoulder. If rupture occurs, it can lead to hypotension or syncope. A positive pregnancy test along with a transvaginal ultrasound is used to confirm ectopic implant. The seventh cause of left lower abdominal pain can be an inguinal or femoral hernia. While right-sided hernias are generally more common, left-sided hernias can still occur. Inguinal hernias are more common in men, while femoral hernias are often seen in older women. These factors include a history of lifting heavy weights and obesity. The pain associated with hernias is often aching and may present with a visible or palpable bulge. This bulge worsens with straining of physical activity and decreases with rest. In most cases, a clinical examination is sufficient to diagnose a hernia. However, an ultrasound or CT scan may be used to confirm the diagnosis.